I found this old International Harvester tractor on the internet last night for $800. I called the guy and he said he would hold it for me until I could get out there the next day. I sold my 1961 Ford diesel tractor a few months ago and that money helped pay for our lumber to start building the house, but I've needed a tractor a couple different times since then. I paid $1,200 for this tractor, put a little bit of money in, into it and sold it for almost $4,000. I drove down there as quick as I could after unloading the trailer up at the property. About an hour and a half drive to get down there wasn't too bad. The tractor is what's called a 1957 International Harvester 350, sometimes referred to as the 350 utility. It's about a 50 horse tractor. My other tractor was a 65 horse tractor. This one's a gas tractor. I'd prefer a diesel, but the bottom line is the price was right. I knew this tractor was worth probably two to three times what he was asking for it. The tires alone were worth what I was paying for it. I had a couple cosmetic issues, but nothing major. Um, it has 211 hours on it since the motor was rebuilt and it's been sitting in a barn getting crapped on by pigeons for the last number of years. I want to switch the tires from side to side which will make it stick out about another foot, give it another foot of stability. The one thing I don't like about these is the hitch. These hitches are called the fast hitch or the two-point hitch. I'm going to have to convert it over to the uh, three-point hitch, which there's a couple companies that make stuff. But it's all here. It needs to be cleaned up. It's a 12-volt system. Uh, it starts and runs real good. Um, this will be perfect for grading the road, for just doing basic grading, which is what I needed a, a tractor for. Somebody obviously bumped something with the front grill. That won't take too much for me to straighten that back out, but uh, it's a good looking little tractor. I wish it was a diesel, but I'll take it. It's about a 50 horsepower tractor. Most of my tools are up at the property, but I found my lug wrench and got my high lift jack and went to work. By flipping the tires from side to side, it creates more stability by widening out the tractor. This tractor weighs right about 5,000 pounds. My old tractor I had on three wheels a couple different times. The last thing I want is this thing tipping over on myself or my son. Now the beauty of this tractor is everything works on it. The brakes are perfect. The lights work even. It could use a new set of front tires. This is pretty minor for what I paid for it. It's even got a padded seat. You can see how much wider this thing sits by flipping the tires. There's even an option to slide out the front tubes and make the front end wider as well. I enjoy having Rhett working with me. He's been blessed with the mechanically inclined ability and he catches on real quick. He'll likely be driving this when we're mowing and doing different things. Don't break my light. Don't break my light. Now the front grill's mostly cosmetic. 
but I knew we could take a hammer to it and straighten that thing out good enough fairly easily. Now I've learned that something's simply worth what a person's willing to pay for it. It's that simple. But a good old tractor that starts and runs and the hydraulics work on it and the tires don't go flat is worth a couple grand. I've seen these old International 350s priced anywhere from $2,500 to about $10,000 when it was completely restored. I just need something that can pull a box scan and flatten out the road. The road's got some big ruts in it right now. And for what I gave for this tractor, she's never going to be a trailer queen. She'll always be a workhorse. I'm going to haul her up to the property tomorrow, figure out what it's going to take to convert that two point to a three point hitch get the Gannon hooked up to it, start working on the road. This is the easy one. Yeah, that turned out good. Not bad for a couple of rednecks. Twenty minutes worth of work and we got that grill nice and straightened out.